Question 7. In the figure below, acute angled triangle ABC is drawn having angle C at the origin. We need to prove the law of cosines or the cosine law, cosine rule, that C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine C. We note first that the coordinates of the point C are 0 and 0. And obviously, moreover, we note that um, opposite A is uh, opposite angle A is small letter A. Opposite angle B is um, lowercase B, and opposite C is lowercase C. And that means we can actually be able to determine the coordinates of the point A um, in terms of the length of the sides of the triangle, and therefore these will have coordinates um, B and zero. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is to determine the coordinates of the point B. So we proceed as follows. Now, in 7.1.1, um, we know therefore that we can be able to find the coordinates of the point B as follows. So you're going to actually begin to work um, to find the coordinates. So if this becomes sort of the height of the triangle, if you call it, we can be able to find that. But the coordinates of the point B can be seen as x subscript B and y subscript B. And therefore, these are exactly. So if you have this, then at this point, you will have x subscript B. Okay, you have x subscript B here. And obviously we know therefore that the length of this side is B units. And at this point here, you realize that up to the point B, you would have Y subscript B. All right. Which means if we want to actually determine the sign of the angle C, it is the opposite, which is YB, over the hypotenuse, which is A. And that means, therefore, at this point, it is clear that Y subscript B is A, the trigonometric sign of C. Next thing is to find what R is to find. Um, x sub b, so we have the cosine of, of, of c, which is the adjacent, um, the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which means x sub b, which is equal to a cosine c. Right, so what are the coordinates at this point? So the coordinates will be x sub b will be given by a cosine c and the y subscript b will be given by a that should be the trigonometric sign of c right so we are pretty good then you want to prove this relation the c squared relation so you can just simply find the distance uh, between b and a so which means at this point we can actually be in a position to find that. How do you find the distance between B and A? To find the distance between B and A, there are many, many ways to do that. All right, many, many ways to do that. One of which is using the relations we know. Right, for example, you know that the distance between this and that are, is actually B minus x sub b and x sub b is a cosine c and you know this for this triangle is right angled um so the height can be seen is uh, y sub b and y sub b y is a sine c and therefore we good Right, so we have the triangle like this here. Our C 
is what we're looking for but this one you already know is b minus a cosine c in this for the hypotenuse is a the sine of c so in the end we are good very very good sort it out so we are in business now this here you can just use pythagoras theorem and that means um, Pythagoras theorem can be seen as follows you can think of it as x squared plus y squared is r squared in a right angle triangle meaning at this point you can view these as some x you can view these as some y you can view this c as some r so that the x is going to be b minus a cosine c just one way to do that you can use the distance formula to do this plus if you look at the y um, is actually a the trigonometric sine of c you square it it is equal to c squared right squaring these will therefore become b squared minus twice a b cosine c plus a squared cosine squared c plus a squared sine squared c which equals c squared what is the meaning of all this? Which is b squared plus. Right, so you have a squared as a common factor. And then you have cosine squared c plus sine squared c. And then what else do you have? We have minus 2 AB cosine C and this is equal to C squared. You can set by writing C squared. Writing C squared first, we can we get the following. Writing C squared first, we have C squared is equal to Right, so the cosine squared plus sine squared is actually a 1, giving us a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine c. And this is exactly what we're supposed to prove in 7.1.1. The next thing is, we're going to prove 7.1.2. And we proceed as follows. Right. So this is noted, else we proceed to the next question. To prove the next one is very, very straightforward and this is how we proceed to do it. We do it very, very effortlessly. Alright, so to prove this one right now, we look at the solution to 7.1.2. In that one is that c squared is a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine c. Okay. We just um, transpose the terms. The minus 2ab is negative, so we can make it positive which is a squared plus b squared minus c squared. You divide by 2ab cosine c, which is a squared over 2ab plus b squared over 2ab minus c squared over 2ab. So if you look at this very carefully, you can write it like that. Alternatively, you can just write it as follows. You can just say it is a squared plus b squared minus c squared all divided by double ab. Right, so that's what we get. And then the next thing is we're going to add a 1, 1 plus. 
Getting a 1 would be a squared plus b squared minus c squared over 2ab plus 1, which is 1 plus cosine c. Okay, so this is over 1, so you take your LCD here. Right, so which is twice AB, twice AB divided by twice AB is 1 times the numerator is going to be A squared plus B squared minus C squared. You have twice AB divided by 1 is twice AB by 1 plus twice AB, which therefore means at this point we have that 1 plus the cosine of C is equal to. Right, so we perform factorization of this. Right, we perform factorization of this. Right, performing factorization of this is really very, very easy. One way to do that is to see that a squared plus b squared, you can write it like this, you can say a squared plus twice a b plus b squared minus c squared is actually all over twice AB, which means 1 plus cosine C is the A. So you remember that A plus B is actually A squared plus twice AB plus B squared. So, which means it's a plus b all squared minus c squared all over twice a b. One plus cosine c. Right, this is the difference of two squares. So, a squared minus b squared generally is the difference of two the difference of two squares which is a into that in, which is that so at this point it becomes a plus b minus c into a plus b plus c all divided by 2ab looking very carefully this is exactly the result that uh, we had to prove here we had to prove for Fermax, um, that we deduce uh, for Fermax that 1 plus cosine c is um, actually that. So you can write like that if you wish to. You can just interchange the signs here and put, just to make sure we get exactly the same thing, we get to put a plus here, put a minus there. Meaning obviously at this point, a squared minus b squared is actually equal to the a plus b into a minus b. And this is the result. And thank you, thank you so much everybody for joining us. And goodbye to you.